What up? I got nice skin here with me. This ain't a diss song. But, um, yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. I'm a cheese head, y'all niggas cheese whiz. Pittsburgh Steelers, that's nothing. That Super Bowl ring, that's nothing. Yeah. Pull up in your town when you see me, you know everything. Green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow, green and yellow. Yeah. I put it down, representing for my team. I'm in green. Now on the show is Woo! one of the receivers that Aaron Rodgers is throwing to. He's got over 400 yards and two touchdowns this season. He's also one of A-Rod's favorite go-to guys. It's my pleasure to welcome back to the show the player whose name we love to say, Mr. Marquez Valdez-Scanley. Valdez yeah! There he is, MVS. What's up, baby? What's going on, guys? Welcome to the show. Welcome back. We loved when you were in studio back over the summer. Let's look back to this past Sunday, though. Oakland Raider game. You're dealing with injuries all week, and we're seeing as a game time decision. And yet, in the biggest moments, lo and behold, you not only suited up, but you had 133 yards, and you guys walked away with the victory. Take us through the hours before the game and the days leading up to it, knowing that you could actually go and be there for A Rod in that game. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it was a game time decision, which is literally what it was. Uh, I think I came in around like 9.30, the game was at 12. I um, made a decision if I can play or not. Uh, it was one of those things where it was a, a lingering, lingering injury, and so we kind of had to you know, figure it out throughout the week. Uh, I didn't practice much throughout the week. I just kind of did my rehab, and then went back out and you know, was able to play on Sunday. You had a brilliant performance, and hopefully it translates to, uh, to week eight. We were just talking about the Chiefs-Packers matchup. You know, Patrick Mahomes isn't starting, but he's the reigning MVP. But your quarterback last week lit it up. He is the NFC Player of the Week. Is he the best quarterback in the league? Of course. Uh, that's no question. Uh, I think he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, that's something I would never, you know, say he's not. Uh, I was a big fan of Aaron before I even got here. You know, so his, his talent and things he can do with the football, his intelligence is unmatched. Unmatched, Sean. That's pretty impressive. Marquez, uh, after the game, you tweeted about a throw that a lot of people might not have noticed. And, mm -hmm. and in your tweet, you said, imagine being a quarterback coach, trying to coach <laughs> your quarterback, but showing him clips of Aaron Rodgers doing this throw. He literally threw the ball <laughs> without either of his feet being on the ground. And just take us through that throw. Why is that so impressive? Um, what is it that makes you say, wow, every single day when you guys are practicing with this guy? So, you know, like, people didn't even, you know, realize what happened. Um, he, didn't, he threw a check down to Jamal. You know, Jamal got, like, eight or nine yards. Um, but I mean, what, when you go back and look at it, literally neither of his feet were on the ground when he threw the ball. And it's just amazing how he can, you know, make some of these throws in these positions that he's in, you know. And that's why I'm saying, you know, his talent level is just ridiculous because no other quarterback is doing that. Like, that's just amazing to see. You know, I'm still I mean, in shock every time I see stuff body. like that. Through the, through the defensive line. Yeah, like threading the needle. Does he say anything? After he makes a throw like that, come, be honest. What does he say when he comes back? Oh, does he say, do you see that? You feel me? Nah, what, what does he say? He, literally nothing. Just runs the next play. Uh, it's become so normal to him um, that he can, I mean, he's 15th year in the league, you know, so he's been doing things like this for a very long time. So I think he's become numb to it. But, you know, with it being my second year in the league, you know, I don't see stuff like this all the time. So it just, it just amazes me every time. What does he say to you in the huddle? Like, if it's a play and, and he wants you and you know it, does he have, like, a little something? He's like, hey, man, does he give you a, a wink or, like, a little, hey, man, I need you? Or, uh, it's you always, let's go, kid. language? Nah, it's his thing. Let's go, kid. That's his <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Marquez, um, you know, Devontae Adams has been down, and it's almost <laughs> like maybe if you're playing Call of Duty and one of your lieutenants goes down, you got to finish the level, right, with the guys you have left. And it's you, yeah. and it's Lazard, Shepard, Kumaro. These are the guys who are putting up these huge points. Tell the world. We know about Rodgers. We know about Devontae. Tell the world about the rest of these receivers in that room with you and how good they are. Like I said you know, a couple months ago, I think we got one of the best uh, wide receiver rooms in the league. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things where we're all unique and things that we can do. You know, one, not one guy is, you know, the same. And I think that's what makes us special. You know, everyone has a different talent that they can bring. To this, to this offense, and it helps us out every single week. It's been a good October for you boys up there in Green Bay. Maybe it has something to do with your birthday. Happy belated, you turned 25. Right. Thank you. Back on October 10th, and you it. posted this 
adorable photo on Instagram. I need to know about this <laughs> outfit. Why are you wearing it? What is the story behind it? Do you still have it? And does it still fit? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I did not have it. Uh, I want to say this was like when I was four or five years old, maybe. Um, and I was doing a photo shoot with my, my parents. And uh, I had to did a bunch of different outfits. I had a, a Buccaneers outfit. Um, I think I did that one. I think I had one more. I don't remember what it was, though. But it was just a little photo that? shoot, and it was just oversized clothes. <laughs> what were you wearing? A work done or a Mike Allstott? What Buccaneers yeah. outfit were you wearing back then? Man, I don't even remember. I have to go back and Keenum look. I'm not Cordell. even sure. It might have been. It might have been sure. Warren Sapp. Before we let you go, we want to give uh, an opportunity for you to give a message to Packers fans out there. You guys currently lead the NFC North, but the Vikings, the Bears, and Lions are still solid. Not to mention you guys have the Chiefs in Arrowhead Sunday night. If all the Packers nation is watching right now, what would be your message to them for the second half of the season for the 2019 campaign? Marquez, the stage is yours. Keep up the support. We appreciate every single one of y'all. Even if you don't come to the game, we appreciate the support, you know, on TV or online. We love y'all. Go Pack Go. Marquez Valdez Scantling, one of our favorite guys in the league. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Keep it up and great luck for you the rest of the way. Way to go, Marquez. Thanks Thank for you. joining us this morning. Love it. Let's Appreciate go, kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Young Moolah, baby.